So are you looking for a simple way to stream a live video into your YouTube channel or to your Facebook or LinkedIn accounts? Well, in this video, I'm gonna talk and walk you through how to use StreamYard, a super simple tool and a free tool to actually do just that. So I'm gonna dive straight on into my StreamYard account and show you around. So to get a free StreamYard account, all you have to do is Google StreamYard or go to streamyard.com and to set up a free account, they just ask for an email address and then they send you a verification code. So once you actually verify that code, then you should be into your account that looks something like this. This is a paid account, but it looks very similar to a free account. You can actually stream for free. And um, it's just a couple of things that you might need to change. It's really entirely up to you. But here, the first thing I would probably do is I would probably go down to destinations and then select the destinations for the stream where you want the stream to actually go to so here you just simply add a destination and then it actually walks you through how to actually link up a youtube channel a linkedin page a facebook page twitch anything like that twitter and what i've done is i've actually linked in my three destinations that i actually wanted to stream into now this is a question that i, I did get asked um, i've done a couple of live streams before and i streamed into my youtube channel uh, my LinkedIn profile and my Facebook profile. So those are the three things that I've already got set up. Um, if you want to just set up yours, you simply click add destination. So then we just want to go straight into a broadcast and then create a broadcast. So here we just go into a live stream and then you want to select all three destinations or if you just wanted to stream into one, that's totally fine. And then a title, so, uh, so we want to go live, stream uh, test i just want to show you that uh, you can actually type in some description here this is obviously the title of your live stream so um, whatever you want to put across to your audience the description is what the live stream is all about uh, you can actually customize for each section so you can go live stream test and you can have it different into facebook live stream test you can have it uh, different into your linkedin and you can have it different into your YouTube. So create a broadcast, then you go into the actual broadcast room and I'll show you uh, a couple of things. So that's just created a broadcast for you. You'll be entering the studio and this is where you can actually edit some of the things. So I want, uh, this is me on the camera. So I want to have um, my camera and probably my microphone on and the display name is just literally what you want to be called or your name or your brand name or anything like that you just enter studio so here you'll see a few things you'll see uh, a few things down on the right hand side i'm going to go through these and then here you're not added to the live stream yet i'm going to do that in a second uh, but what i'm going to do is i'm going to present some slides as well that i actually presented on so these are the three destinations and it's not until you hit this go live button here that you actually go live so a brand color, if you if you want your brand colors to actually resonate through this, uh, I've just chosen my brand colors here. And the theme, I've just gone for classic. Uh, and if you do have a paid uh, version of StreamYard, you can actually just uh, not have their logo or you can put your logo on this. You can have different types of overlays and you can have countdown timers. You can play around with the background, but I've just kept it back, uh, kept the background uh, dark black. And then here you can have some background music. This is all under the branding tab. So if you wanted to uh, personalize this, uh, especially if you're paying for the upgraded version, you can actually just put your own logo on everything. Uh, private chat, anyone on the stream can actually chat with you and you can actually show these chats uh, on the screen. Comments, you can actually show the comments on the screen as well with banners as well. Uh, this this is the type of banner that I used. So when I did my live streams, it was I was promoting my lead magnet, which was my my guide, my five step guide. So um, learning how to grow an online business with my stupidly simple five step guide. So that's what I did there. So once you're happy with um, the comments, the banners, and your brand, all you need to do now is. Um, you can actually add yourself to live stream. So this is me on the live stream. Then I'm also going to present some slides that I used. Um, and so the slides are in the shot there. And all I do is to present the slides, you've got these four little uh, or five or six, depending on um, 
how you like to present. So you could just go, you could just go full speaker. You could just go full speaker with small slides, or you could go uh, the speaker with actual the main slide, or just go full slide. Now you can edit all of these in edit layout. So you can add an item or subtract an item, you know, from the edit layout, or you can have different layouts. But I just like to go uh, with these four really simple uh, layouts. And then you can just toggle between the two so or between the four. So if you wanted just to, to actually come back in shot and, and adjust the camera uh, and say a few things about this slide before you go on to the next slide, you can do that. If you're actually wanting to say a little bit more piece to camera with, with a small slide uh, on the side, then, then you can actually um, just toggle that one over. But just get used to actually having, you can either remove yourself um, or you can remove the slides uh, from the actual live stream. But what I would recommend first, before you actually send a live stream into any of your channels, if you have decided that a live stream is the way forward, try and test it. So test out the platform that you're going to be using. In this example, I would recommend StreamYard. It's super simple. And actually test out to um, a private Facebook or a private um, YouTube link so you can actually see how it presents. Uh, don't promote it, to actually go and just go through the motions and just try the live stream out for yourself. And you should be able to get used to actually doing a live stream so you're not worried about all the tech when you go live. The tech should be then second nature to you so you're just focused on the content that you're delivering um, and not the actual tech itself. So similarly, you could have somebody help you out with the tech. So if you are a technophobe or if you don't really um, resonate with running a StreamYard account, you can have somebody help you do that. So then you can just simply focus on delivering the valuable content to your audience and helping them along their journey. So this is exactly how I went live using StreamYard into my YouTube, Facebook and my LinkedIn account. I would recommend you get a free StreamYard account. I'm not affiliated with StreamYard, but just get a free account. Just try it. It is one of the most simplest platforms I have come across and it's really easy to upload uh, some Google Slides. So if you are using Google Slides or shareable slides, upload those to your StreamYard account so then you can just toggle through the slides and address your audience as a live stream. And the best thing about going live is you can have some interaction. So if people are on the live stream, you can chat back and forth with them and that's the best way to get some hot feedback um, and a hot Q&A that I can actually pivot and understand what your audience wants. So that's it, super short video on showing you how to actually implement StreamYard and getting to know it. It's a super simple platform. And if you wanted to know any of the other tools that I use to run my online business, head over to timpeakman.com forward slash tools, where I can provide you with a downloadable checklist of all the tools I, I have used and I am using to run this online business and it might give you might spark some ideas for what you can try next or what you should be trying but absolutely get yourself a StreamYard account and start streaming. Looking forward to seeing you again on another video soon.